I still remember it was a Sunday evening. It was around 7 p.m. that my pediatrician on duty in NICU called me, and uh, he informed me that uh, there's this uh, lady who's 27 weeks pregnant who has come from some other hospital, and she had a very very high blood pressure. It was I remember if it was 220 or something, and uh, she had blood in the urine. Now uh, all, all of us know that the survival. And it's not only survival, the intact survival at this gestation or this period of conception is rather uh, poor. And uh, we always prefer that we deliver such babies after giving a certain injection to the mother. It's called dexamethasone, which matures the lungs, which uh, decreases the, uh, should I say, uh, need for mechanical ventilation. It, it prevents uh, a particular kind of a brain hemorrhage, which is very... Um, uh, Peculiar to these tiny preterms is called intraventricular hemorrhage and, and it also matures the intestines. All in all, this injection, if given, improves the survival and intact survival very much. But we, the obstetrician did not have time for giving this injection because we prefer that uh, dexamethasone should be given at least uh, 48 hours before delivery uh, for the uh, optimal outcome in these babies. But we know that there are situations where uh, this kind of a waiting time is not permissible because of either the maternal condition or a risk to the fetus if the, or the baby who is in mother's womb if he or she remains inside the mother's womb. That means an emergency cesarean was called for, for the mother's sake and maybe for the baby's sake. Now, the baby was born around, I remember around 9.32 p.m. I still remember that and it was a tiny baby didn't breathe at all, didn't cry. I had to intubate the baby right in the DR, the delivery room. And we had to start ventilating, giving uh, with a TP research stair, a form of a, uh, you, you can say an equipment for giving ventilation in the delivery room, in the operation theater. And from there, we moved the baby in a transport incubator on a transport ventilator to our NICU. We gave surfactant and we started ventilating. And the baby responded to the ventilation and surfactant and I could extubate the baby. That means I could uh, take the endotracheal tube out of baby's windpipe and put him on a, on a nasal ventilation around 11.30 p.m. So by 12.30 or so when I left the hospital, baby was already extubated, given surfactant, ventilated and then switched over to what's called nasal ventilation. Such babies pose many other ch challenges, risk of infection, risk of, risk of frequent stopping of breathing, uh, intolerance of feeds, jaundice, uh, blindness, hearing impairment. Uh, the, the list is endless. Aspiration, but... Uh, and this, this fight that we had is not a, a few hours fight. It goes on and on and on. As we say in cricket, it's not over with them in these babies till the last ball is bowled. It's not over till it is over. So uh, at the end of it, this baby who was born with a birth weight of 890 grams with a gestation of 27 weeks, which would be around let's say six and a half months, who's delivered without having the mother having received antenatal dexamethasone uh, was discharged yesterday with a birth weight of 1.790 kg on oral feeds, has no what is called retinopathy of prematurity, there's no brain hemorrhage and uh, we are hoping and his baby is breastfeeding well. Of course, this baby would require a long term follow up to see that everything goes off well, would require a, I would continue to examine the baby uh, neurologically, developmentally, his hearing will have to be assessed time and again, but I'm very, very hopeful. Fortunately, this baby did not have the usual complications that the babies have, that is sepsis, infection, any, um, should I say, chronic lung disease for that matter, which these babies tend to have. This baby didn't have it. Intraventricular hemorrhage, this baby didn't have it. So I'm still very, very hopeful that uh, at the end of it, the outcome would be good. But obviously, we have to be very, very careful and, uh, should I say, cautiously optimistic.
द्वार का मोड से आए हैं मेरे को बीपी की प्रॉब्लम थी हमने पहले कहीं और हॉस्पिटल दिखाया वहाँ में सही इलाज नहीं मिला फिर हमें किसी ने सजेस्ट किया कि आप मणिपाल में जाओ फिर हम यहाँ आए आए थे उस टाइम मेरा बी और भी हाई था हमने यहाँ डॉक्टर शौक से मिले फिर उनके निर्देशन में मेरा इलाज हुआ और आज दो महीने के बाद में मेरे बच्चे को डिस्चार्ज किया जो इनका इलाज में बहुत अच्छा मिला और मेरा बच्चा प्रीतम हुआ था तो अब एकदम सही है मेरा नाम राम सिंह है हम जब इस हॉस्पिटल में आए थे तो पूरे घबराए हुए थे हमें ये डर लग रहा था कि अभी सत्ताईस वीक ही हुई है बच्चे का क्या होगा कैसे होगा पर यहाँ अच्छा डॉक्टर शौक से अच्छा इलाज मिला और दो तो महीने से यहाँ का पूरा स्टाफ कोऑपरेटिव है वो अच्छा कोऑपरेट किया अच्छा ट्रीटमेंट दिया और हमारा बच्चा स्वस्थ है ठीक है आज भी साथ